In this sports design tutorial, I'm going to take these photos and turn them into this game day graphic for the Indiana Pacers. I'm going to start out with a yellow rectangle to fill the entire background. You can do this by selecting the rectangle tool on the left side and dragging it across your entire canvas. Next, you can create a layer by clicking this button on the bottom right hand corner. And once we have this layer created, we're going to create another rectangle to go across the bottom portion of the graphic. You can change the color of the rectangle by clicking this color palette and then selecting whatever color that you want. The next thing I did was duplicate my layer. So you can duplicate your layer by selecting the layer first and then hit command J. I did this twice to have a bottom layer and then a top layer. Next I added a text layer and I just scrolled through all my text that I have and I ended up going with the font need for font. I find all my fonts on Google, usually from recommendations from other designers, and I then duplicated this layer and I added a stroke to it. You can adjust the size of the stroke by moving this slider right here. And once you have the stroke up to whatever you want, you can then go to blending options and then reduce the fill opacity. What this is gonna do is create an outline around your lettering, but it's not gonna fill the inside. So it should look something like this. You can add a drop shadow to your rectangles by going to your layer and then selecting the FX tool on the bottom right hand corner and then go to drop shadow. I added a black drop shadow to start, but I ended up going with a white drop shadow in my final edit. If you guys are enjoying the content so far, please feel free to drop a like for me. It really helps out the video and we are almost at 2,500 subscribers. I next added players into my graphic. I got all my players from Google Images and I added specific adjustments to them. If you guys want to know those specific adjustments, just leave me a comment. I can do an in-depth video on that. And I also added the Pacers logo. So I want to go into a little bit of detail about the Pacers logo. So I first added a gradient overlay and you can see how it makes the outside yellow a little bit different than the inside yellow. And you can do this by adjusting the angle of the gradient. And then the next thing I have is um, an optional component and I added a bevel and emboss to that and what it does is it just creates a little bit of black in the background of your logo. Another thing that you guys should also do is add a gradient to the yellow square within the background. So we created that yellow square in the beginning of our graphic and now we're going to add a gradient to it and we're going to increase the size of the gradient so that the yellow is fading out towards the sides. Next, we're gonna add an overlay to the side of the graphic. You can find something similar to this by searching dot gradient on Google. And once you've found something similar, put this to screen mode divide. And so what that's gonna do is it's gonna mirror the background color. So in my case, yellow. And then you can delete portions of the dot gradient and really get the effect that I'm doing. Just a reminder, I'm gonna be giving away a graphics pack at 2,500 subscribers. So if you aren't already subbed, please consider doing so. The last portion of this graphic is adding camera raw filter. This can be done by going up to filter and then going to camera raw filter. And we're gonna add a couple different adjustments here. So the first are texture and clarity. Texture and clarity just make your image pop more, just makes everything more crisp. And we're also gonna add a couple of different adjustments here. They are gonna be whites as well as shadows. So in order to brighten parts of my graphic, I'm gonna increase my whites as well as my shadows. I also like to increase my vibrance just to enhance the overall color of the image. Uh, a couple of adjustments that I also make are within sharpening and noise reduction. In addition, you can add in a vignette and some grain for an added effect. What that does is it just adds a white shadow around the outside or a black shadow depending on which way you move your slider. And this is my final result. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please feel free to drop a like for me. And if you aren't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I do a video every single week and I do design breakdowns just like this. And as always, have a good one.